Washington and turn to a member of Congress. Here he is, Tom Rooney, a Republican from Florida. He serves on the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and, and if I may, I just want to get you out of the gate on the record commenting on this breaking news here out of Russia that, that Syria says it is ready to disclose its chemical weapon sites and apparently sign this ban of chemical weapons. Yeah, I, you know, obviously anything that keeps us from sending uh, potentially our men and women into a third war in the Middle East, even though Secretary Kerry says that's not the plan, I fear as a former military officer and somebody who sits on these committees like intelligence and been on armed services, that once you do that, that the retaliation is going to be such that it will become an international event very quickly whether to Israel or Jordan or Turkey, that it will turn into a third uh, major war in the Middle East. So anything like this that uh, obviously we have to verify, obviously we have to get buy-in from the, the UN and people that can verify that what they're, what, what they're saying they're going to do is really going to happen, uh, I think that it should be explored. I'm also curious, as you mentioned, as a, as a former military officer, are you talking to any of our great men and women, uh, servicemen and women, about, um, you know, the, the possibility, again, we're hearing from, from the administration, you know, that they may be hitting pause on a vote, but still the administration wants the pressure on, the, the possibility of a strike could still be viable. What are your colleagues telling you? You know, you're the first person to ask me that question, and I've given about 100 interviews on this issue. And yet, to answer your question, yes, I personally emailed or texted probably about 50 of my friends that are still wearing the uniform just to sort of see like hey guys I'm not gonna you know give your names or say what your thoughts are but right. how do you feel about this and it was literally 50 to 0 nobody wants to uh, engage in this uh, civil war in Syria mm -hmm. certainly if it went outside the borders that would be a different story with you know, our allies being involved if that ever came to be. But strictly within the borders of Syria, Sunni civil, uh, Sunni Shia civil war is just not something that any of them, and these, you know, are now they're getting to be colonels and, and the like. So I, I think that uh, I thought it was very telling, and, and I'm glad you asked me that question. Uh, thank you. I, I thought it was uh, pertinent to, to, to your position. And let me just sort of also ask this. Uh, I know you have not met with the president. He was meeting with both uh, with senators on both sides of the aisle today, just just left that second meeting. Um, but but if you had the president in front of you and if you are skeptical, what would your question number one be to him? I, I, again, he said in an interview yesterday in one of his many interviews that there is not a direct imminent threat to the United States. He said that. And, I, and you know, he has said, and Secretary Kerry said, that this is in our national interest. And I'm having a difficult time divorcing the two. Hmm. That it's not a direct imminent threat, but it is in our national security interest. And those two things are too far apart for me to reconcile where with Kerry and the president they seem to be one and the same so I think what he has to do tonight and I think what he has to do with people like me I wish he would have come and talked to the house today by the way uh, is to say to us look this is not only in our in our national security interest but it, it gets to an imminent threat to the United States by connecting this dot to this dot so now you can see why it's so important he hasn't done that for me Congressman Tom Rooney, thank you so much for joining me from the Hill. I appreciate it. We will all be watching the president tonight. Appreciate you.